More than 400 lives lost. Mexico is a country in mourning. The focus must also now be on rebuilding. The earthquake is being described as the country's costliest natural catastrophe. The challenges are many and the fear is that Mexico doesn't have the necessary resources to recover. The reconstruction fund has zero money because obviously a lot has been spent in the different events that we've had. So it's an issue that the Secretary of Finance has to determine which disaster funds it can access when we have an earthquake like the one we just had. So we have the ability to access them and then that doesn't affect your base budget. Sinking oil revenue has led to several disaster and emergency funds being slashed in recent years. This year alone, President Pena Nieto has made cuts to two major disaster funds. Fonden's resources are not infinite and it's important to understand that in the debate over next year's budget, they will likely be readjusted. Critics of the government say the leadership is relinquishing responsibility to the people of Mexico. And many are skeptical that the resources will ever reach those who need it most. I don't think they'll make it to where it's supposed to go, or not all of it. At the end of the day, a lot of the resources will be diverted, because this is Mexico and there's a lot of corruption. And I'm ashamed to say it, but it's true. And the people that really need it are the ones who won't get the resources. They're the ones who won't get anything. Government officials are still tallying up the total cost. Unprepared for such large-scale devastation caused by multiple disasters, there will be months of work ahead from demolition to repairs and reconstruction. While the people of Mexico are left hoping and indeed must trust that their leadership will make sure that money reaches the right places. It is Tian Shan, TRT World.